Moving on to the sloped coping above the flashed parapet framing, this is also really important to get right to ensure that water doesn't infiltrate into the parapet wall. Notice that we flashed the rough parapet separately from the coping for redundancy. If water was to get past that coping, whether it was through a leaky seam or a faster penetration, it will not compromise the parapet wall below. The coping cap should always be sloped inwards towards the roof membrane to avoid staining the exterior facade. The framing for the coping itself can be constructed in a lot of different ways, the simplest being just a beveled wood plate. For thicker parapet walls with many layers of rigid insulation and a thicker cladding system such as a brick veneer, we'd want to frame out the coping with plywood and blocking or even rigid foam insulation. We then will install a peel and stick flashing membrane over the coping framing. Here we're calling out a heat resistant flashing product since we're specifying a stainless steel coping strip. As we all know, steel is conductive and that surface underneath the metal coping is going to heat up especially in the summertime. This does have the potential to melt some flashing membranes that are not designed for high temperatures. Some other smaller details that we need to address prior to installing the metal coping cap. Over here, we've called out a stainless counter flashing with a drip edge to protect that termination bar connection and the UV sensitive flexible flashing tape. We don't want either of these connections to be exposed to heat or UV light as this can cause building tapes, sealants, and flashing membranes to deteriorate. We also have the heat resistant flashing membrane lapping over the top of this flashing to ensure that we're properly shingling these components to shed water. Also notice how we are lapping that heat resistant membrane onto the underside of the beveled plate and down onto the weather resistive barrier and flashing membrane. If we did a pen test right now to check for water control continuity, our pen wouldn't leave the paper or the tablet in this case. Protecting the top of the parapet wall with a metal or stone coping cap is really important as the membranes and flashings will be exposed to constant weathering, heat, and UV light from sun exposure. Parapets are a sensitive area because they are the intersection between many different components and water and air just loves to get inside it any chance it gets. The stainless coping itself is typically composed of three parts, the coping cap, a splice plate, and cleats. The cleats are installed first over some eighth inch entangled mesh, which provides a drainage path behind the metal coping if and when water gets inside. The cleats are designed to receive the coping cap. That's why they're that L shape. After the cleats are installed on either side of the parapet, the splice plate is installed along with the coping cap, which clips into the cleats. 